Police in the Bronx are investigating what appears to be a botched robbery that ended with the suspect dead. Investigators say the 23-year-old man was trying to rob the store when an employee inside pulled out a gun, shooting and killing the suspect. The whole thing caught on surveillance video. I'm going to use reporter Sonia Rincon has the latest from the Mount Hope section of the Bronx. Police are questioning the person who was working here at the time and investigating whether he shot and killed a robber. Detectives have access to surveillance video from the store to see what went down. We obtained video from another building to show you the timing. A camera rolling just after midnight caught the final moments of this young man's life. You can see him walking up to the store, stopping, touching his pockets, looking around, adjusting his mask, then going in reaching into his jacket while opening the door. We're going to show you this video in real time. Exactly seven seconds after he walks in, he is shot. The door flies open and another young man nearly trips over the shooting victim on the ground, stumbles out of the store, looking shaken by what just happened. We don't know if he was a witness or the person working at the store who pulled the trigger, but he doesn't leave right away. Paramedics arrive a few minutes later, unable to revive the 23-year-old wounded man who was pronounced dead at the scene. Inside the store, a bullet hole can be seen in a shattered glass refrigerator door, a shell casing on the floor, evidence of the violence and chaos that unfolded in a matter of seconds. This afternoon, Bodega and small business group founder Francisco Marte stopped by, saying neighborhood shops like this are in danger especially if they're selling cannabis products, which are supposed to be cash purchases. They are being targeted by, um, by the criminals because they know they have, they have, gun, they have monies or they have um, a stuff that they can resell it and make money. And neighbors say this business recently changed. It just became a dispenser, like maybe a month, a month and a half. And what was it before that? Just the yeah, it was a deli where you could buy your food, coffee, the typical stuff. Police took the suspected shooter into custody a block away at another business here on East Fremont Avenue, and they've identified the young man who died as Romel Carey of Pennsylvania.